Welcome back. My name is Christina and today I'm bringing you cherry flavored whiskey. Lately, we've been asking everyone to give us suggestions on what we should do next. Brock L. said that we should do cherry. We aim to please here at the liquor camp, so here we have cherry flavored whiskey. Today I have eight cherry flavored whiskeys for you. Please stick with me through the whole video because these fell into some pretty distinct categories and my top picks may not be the style of cherry that you're looking for. So I'm gonna go through all of these and let you know what I think about each of them. As you probably know, we've done some other flavored whiskeys on our channel and most of the time we find flavored whiskeys fall into categories. They're not always the same as each other, but they usually are similar. Cherry is no different. We didn't find any shelf sitters though on this one, but it's important you know the categories so you know which ones to choose. First up, and probably my least favorite, is our cough syrup category. Now, I honestly expected all of these to be in this category, and I was fairly surprised when they weren't. Let's be real, I think it's difficult for whiskey distillers or anybody trying to make a cherry flavored whiskey to get away from that overly sweet, artificial, uh, uber cherry flavor that most cough syrups use and we associate with the cough syrups we had as children. These three fell into that category, but they're still good. Most of the time when we're reaching for a cherry flavored whiskey, we're not reaching for it to sip on or to put in a glass with ice. We're reaching for it to make cocktails and put in with mixers. And when you do that, Sometimes you want that overly cherry, super sweet flavor that these bring. Windsor Canadian Black Cherry, Revelstoke Cherry, and Red Stag Black Cherry are all good picks, but they all do fall into the cough syrup category. These two are 70 proof, and this one is a 65 proof. Great for mixers, all of them are under $25, and if you're looking for that grenadine, overly cherry, super sweet artificial cocktail mixer. This is the category I might steer you towards. Now my favorite of these three was actually the Windsor Canadian Black Cherry. Not only is it the least expensive, but it kind of had that super cherry flavor that I really would reach for if I was going for an adult Shirley Temple or something like that. Now we did find one that was pretty unique and actually is one that I would recommend to you if you want a good whiskey to sip on that has a hint of cherry in it. This is one that I would actually tell you to pick if you wanted to put something on ice or sip it neat. Traverse City Whiskey Company American Cherry Edition is actually a 70 proof whiskey that is infused with cherries and natural flavor. It retails for about $33 in our area and it is a little bit different than the others. It doesn't fall into the three main categories because it stands on its own as one that I would recommend as a sipping cherry flavored whiskey. It is a very bourbon forward, almost more of a cherry finish bourbon. So if you're looking for one that is mostly whiskey with a natural cherry finish, this might be the one that's for you. The next two fell into the category I called the Hawaiian punch category. Both of these reminded me so much of Hawaiian punch, I actually went on and looked to see if cherry was one of the flavors in Hawaiian punch. It is not, and at best I can tell, they taste like Hawaiian Punch because they're going more for the maraschino cherry type flavor. A little bit brighter, a little bit fruitier, not so much that overly artificial cherry flavor. Both of them reminded me a lot of Hawaiian Punch. Now, I grew up uh, drinking Hawaiian Punch. I love the flavor. Both of these are really, really good. Ugly Dog Michigan Cherry comes in at a little bit higher proof at 70. Uh, Evan Williams Cherry is a 65 proof. Both of them are under $15 and are excellent picks for any cocktail you have. But my top pick of this category and actually my number three pick of the day was Evan Williams Cherry. It seemed to just have a brighter, stronger flavor even though it's a little bit less proof than the other. It was the one that stood out in this category. Our final category and my top two picks of the day is the category I deemed the cherry dessert category. Both of these felt way more like a cooked or stewed type cherry flavor 
reminded me much more of a cherry pie or a cherry cobbler type feel. First up is Bird Dog Black Cherry. Bird Dog has been in a couple of our other flavored whiskey videos because they are fantastic at producing flavored whiskeys. Black Cherry is no different. It is actually the highest proof one that we tasted in all of these. The flavor on it, it's a very well balanced, it, it tastes more like a cherry pie or a cherry cobbler, even a kind of some of the cherry candies that I've tasted that I really enjoy. It has a strong cherry flavor, but it's balanced with other flavors in it. There are some vanilla spices, um, there's a little bit of a taste of the, uh, the kind of the pie dough that you would imagine in a crust of a pie. It's got a great balance and it's a wonderful pick. It is actually my number two though, because my number one pick of the day is Stillhouse Spice Cherry Whiskey. It is a 69 proof. It is made from an unaged corn whiskey and it's my favorite. It's a little bit unique in the fact that it is clear and reminds you that all whiskey when it begins is clear and it's put in this pretty unique and fun bottle. The flavor on it does really remind you of a dessert. There's a lot of spice in there. There's nutmeg and cinnamon, but you also still get that deep, rich cherry flavor that you would get in a cherry cobbler or a cherry pie. Again, both of these are pretty unique from each other, but they do really remind me of cherry dessert. As always, please drink responsibly. Hit that like and subscribe button. If you like flavored whiskeys, go check out our other flavored whiskey videos and we'll see y'all back here at the camp. Someone for Christmas, I would definitely, definitely, the would definitely, would definitely, would definitely put into, what if I want to say definitely? Yeah, that's fine, but not everything could be definitely. <laughs> it's definitely my favorite word. It is definitely your favorite word. That, that part is true. Damn it.